In this video, we will be continuing our journey into functional equation. You can see the first part in the link in the description. You can also access the toolbox for Math Olympiad for ISI and CMI entrances and college mathematics. using the link in the description okay all right so we were discussing something called cauchy's functional equation and in the first stage in stage 1 It is given as f of x plus y equals to fx plus fy. The domain is z or integers, positive integers, negative integers, 0. The codomain is equal to r which is the real numbers, the set of real numbers. So, we want to find out functions which satisfies these three properties. f of x plus y is equals to fx plus fy, the domain being integers and the codomain being real numbers. Okay. Now, remember, so this is a it's an important note. A description of a function, description of a function must include domain and codomain. Just giving the formula for the function is not enough. You have to tell where the input values are coming from. You have to also say where the allowed output values are. Only when these two things are mentioned, then the description of the function is complete. Okay. Now we are in stage two in this particular video where we will slightly modify our description. So let's copy this. Let's, let's copy this thing and paste it here. Okay. So how will we modify this function? Well, instead of integers, we will now talk about rational numbers. So we will allow the input. We, we will allow the input to be rational number. So we are expanding the definition of our function in some sense. We are expanding the domain. Okay, so a quick reminder, what is a rational number? A rational number S is of the form P over Q, where P and Q are integers. So that's what S is. Now in the previous video, we saw what, what is the answer when the domain is integers. It was f of x is equals to constant times x, where the constant is the value of f of 1. 
when x is equal to integer when x is integer this we already found in the part one of the video so our goal is find f of s find an expression for it where s is equals to p over q where p and q are rational integers p and q are integers okay so let's try that um, firstly we will use this expression s is equal to p over q let's cross multiply then p is equals to q times s i just cross multiplied it now let's find out f of p that must be equal to f of q times s all right now this part we know we know why because p is an integer so we know that f of p must be some constant whatever that constant is times p this constant is f of 1 that's what we found in stage 1 remember this was in stage 1 we found it earlier in the previous video that f of p is equals to some constant number times p so we write that this is some constant number times p okay and what is f of q times s now this is where we will be using the functional equation directly so f of q times s is f of s plus s plus s q times right now what is the functional equation that we have let me write this here maybe we have f of x plus y is equals to f of x plus f of y so you can easily see this that if of if I do f of s plus s, this is f of s plus f of s. Similarly, if I had f of 2s plus s, that is f of 3s, this is f of 2s plus f of s, but this is 2s, so this is again f of s plus f of s. So we bring this down. So we see that f of 3s is equal to f of s plus f of s plus f of s. So 3 times f of s. So we can do this q times f of q times s is equals to q times f of s. That's what we are up for. So let's write it here. This is f of q times s. So this is q times f of s. Okay, so let's bring this q downstairs. So q k times p over q is equals to f of s. We know that p over q is itself s. That was the definition. So f of s turns out to be some constant number s. This is exactly what we found in the case of integers. In the case of integers, f of p is equals to constant times p. Now we found the same thing for rational numbers. f of s is equals to constant times s. So the same function, the same structure of the function will work. f of x plus y is equals to fx plus fy. And if the domain is rational numbers, of course, you know the rational numbers include the integers, but it has more types of numbers. Then f of x is equals to some constant times x, where x is rational. 
Now you may wonder that what happens if I further improve it to real numbers? Will f of x be still some constant times x if the domain is real numbers? Well, surprisingly enough, no. The answer is no if you don't impose any other condition. So I'll write that. And you can try to do this. This is something that we will we discuss in our main program. If the domain is real numbers and it's given that f of x plus y is equals to fx plus fy, you need additional conditions additional conditions to say f of x is equals to constant times x so what conditions do you need well i'll just give you one such condition extra condition given on the function. Assume that f is continuous. Assume that f is continuous. If you do that, can you find out what is f of x? Well, it will be some constant times x. That's your goal show that f of x is equals to constant times x. We handle the real number case in our main live program. We will not do it in this video. But you will have, en you have enough hint here to actually finish it up yourself. So put a comment in the description. How can you prove that f of x is equals to constant times x if the domain is now improved to real numbers and additionally you are given additionally it is given that f is continuous okay give it a try and keep on doing great mathematics i will see you in the next one